Hey guys, welcome to Percussion in the News. Um, today we're talking about a news article from 1957 in La Crosse, Wisconsin. So in 1957, and this made the news uh, in the local newspaper, um, so it was pretty big news, I guess, at that time, or at least worth noting. So the headline says, Drumstick Removed from Boy's Hand, which uh, that'll make you read on. A snare drum stick became embedded in a boy's hand as the boy was playing with the stick Friday morning. James Johnson, 17, of 2010 Wood Street. I love how they put the uh, people's addresses in a lot of these articles. It's like, boy, you don't see that today. A senior at Logan High School was bouncing the stick on the band room floor before classes. As the stick apparently bounced upright, James grabbed for it, and the stick penetrated about an inch into the flesh of his right hand. James was taken to St. Francis Hospital in a police ambulance. The boy's physician cut the hole wider in order to remove the embedded stick. So I think we've all done that where you bounce the stick and it spins and it's fun. But I guess James Johnson just did it so aggressively that it uh, shot up and punctured into his hand and had to be removed. So uh, I guess kind of a slow news week. Who knows? But it's just really cool to see this in the newspaper from 1957. I hope James Johnson was okay from his wound and didn't have to be, you know, away from the drums for too long. Uh, but yeah. So anyway, I thought that was cool and you guys would enjoy it. So thank you for watching this episode of Percussion in the News. Thank you again to my friend uh, Jerry Ryman, who has sent me this awesome binder, which we are working our way through with these videos. Um, so check back for more. I think I'll release some once a week um, and then probably on Thursdays and then new episodes of the podcast will be on Tuesdays. Uh, and then drum videos kind of throughout the week. So uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe to see when all the new stuff comes out and uh, we'll see you on the next one.